to Brunswick to uh, get out of the house. Quarantine is stressful. You gotta get out. So, yeah. We're going to do camera stuff. We're gonna just plunder around and see what we can come up with today in Brunswick. Maybe somewhere she no cars will come by in the meantime and deafen the audio but uh, we have decided to take the cameras and make a day of it yeah we got a couple ideas for uh, Peter McKinnon's little weekly uh, photo assignments that we might give a shot here we'll see how it turns out even if nothing good comes from it we don't end up with any results we're really happy with at least we got out and we tried so here we go Interesting shots. It's been a beautiful day at the least, so. Yeah. Look at that. Couldn't ask for a better scenery right now. Okay, we're done at the bridge. We're now at the pier. Yes. The pier is just finally reopened to the public uh, because of the whole quarantine thing. Uh, it's supposed to only, that and the beach are supposed to only be open to uh, exercise. So, I'm sweating, does that count? <laughs> Counts, right? Yeah. <laughs> successful day uh, of actually shooting. I think we got some half decent pictures. He's learning. Um, so we're going over a lot of the basic settings and stuff for him to get a, a hang of his new camera. So it's been like a day of teaching and shooting. Uh, we're both exhausted. out of energy all of a sudden. We actually flew uh, the drone over the barge that's been tipped over in Brunswick for probably like a year now. I don't know. At least a year. Uh, so we got done, we got back in the car, and both of us were like, are you tired? I'm, I'm dead, man. So, we go to Starbucks. Starbucks is closed. So, now out of desperation, we're going to Target in hopes that the Starbucks is still open. Uh, why, does, why does God hate us? Why does God hate us that all the Starbucks are closed? What is this? Attempt number three for coffee. Please work. We're at a gas station. Desperate times, man. Parker's coffee offerings. Light roast, lighter roast, water, screw you, vodka. I have no idea if these are any good. Uh, about to find out. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 we gotta try it at the same time. <gasps> Cheers. Oh. All right, first time ever, here we go. Good. That's, really good. Uh, that's all it is, is like a regular cold brew black coffee. Uh, so I don't know what I think. Gently tilt can once, pop open and pour into a cold glass for maximum enjoyment. I we, am the cold glass. We, <laughs> we. Why is it the drive home 
is always like three times as long as the drive there. It's been a long way back. Both falling asleep. The uh, cold brew didn't help a whole lot. But finishing off the day with a time lapse. Gonna let the sun go down, finish out the time lapse, and then call it a day. motorcycle in like a few weeks now it was kind of crappy rain there for a little while where I couldn't go ride where I've just had other stuff to do or I've been uh, taking pictures a bunch so I take my car everywhere so today we're gonna go ride the motorcycle uh, see first of all if it'll start knowing how the batteries on the motorcycles are uh, being that it's been a few weeks it may be dead so we'll have to actually see so let's go find out So we're here at Brandon's work. Let's go. Uh, let's go say hello. <laughs> Nothing. I ain't rode in a while, so I thought I'd. Hey. Yeah. I'm doing, doing the vlog thing. Oh, so, you've been doing the vlog thing. I hadn't rode her. You hadn't rode her. I hadn't rode her in a little while, so I decided to do that today. Uh, the good news is that he's got one driver coming in, uh, and then he's off work. Normally, we would go eat and sit down and talk or do something. Um, can't do that. I hate quarantine. It sucks. So we get to either go sit at the house uh, and talk there, or we ride right around and take pictures. So you can guess which one we're going to do. Also, it's a little late, but this is how I've got my GoPro mounted, by the way. Uh, it is not ideal. The bars being curved the way they are on the Harley, it's really insanely hard to get it to just point straight. Actually, this is where I normally keep it, and it's, I don't know, 15 degrees to the right of straight. So it gives me a little something to do in post. It works, it gets the point across. Look at those clouds. It's beautiful. It really is, but you know what it's also? Humid. Oh my gosh, it's so humid. <laughs> at work so I came back home um, it it's hot as hell outside I actually don't know what the temperature was today like probably mid 80s or so uh, but it's humid uh, my body is not acclimated to the heat apparently the summer heat yeah so normally I am a whiskey and cigar kind of guy uh, but today it is too damn hot um, so I'm going with a beer So, 
Brandon is wanting to go take pictures out by his house uh, to get some good sunset pictures with his new camera. Uh, my old camera, his new camera, whatever, semantics. Uh, so we're going to go make some hot coffee and go surprise him and see what kind of shots we can come up with before it gets too dark. <laughs> Slight change of plans. Uh, he already has coffee and didn't tell me he was going to get it. So I made myself some cold brew. Let's go see what he's up to. There he is in his natural habitat. What's up, dude? How's it going? So here's kind of the shot that he's been wanting to take. So. We definitely came just a few minutes too late, but what we're gonna try to do is get a long exposure, maybe get the reflection of the trees in the water um, with that nice orange glow. Yeah, it's really too bad that those clouds there that are just ever so slightly peeking up aren't, aren't you know, a little higher. So, uh, I just got back, well, just got back a couple hours ago from the shoot with Brandon um, out on the side of the road, the sunset picture, uh, which turned out to be super unsuccessful. Um, it was not well planned. We didn't get there until like 8, 10. Sunset's at like 7.45 at the latest, so we were just trying to get some long exposure shots. Um, just to say we went out there and actually did something instead of wasting our time. So we got a couple good shots. Uh, I put the view that I ended up with in the video. I still didn't get the ones from Brandon of the light painting. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get those and throw them back in or not, but I uh, also just wanted to touch base on the entire premise of this vlog. A vlog, sounds weird to say. Um, I'm really doing this whole vlog mini documentary, weekly, whatever this winds up being. I'm doing this really for me. Um, I am not a YouTuber. I'm not really an internet personality, I guess you would say, in, in any form. Um, I'm kind of just doing this because I really got into stepping away from photography uh, in the past few months. And, and not to neglect my photography, that, that's still my main priority. I really just wanted to branch out into the video side of things. Um, it was actually a big push for me to actually get the Nikon Z6, which I'm shooting on now, because of that. You know, this is a really great stills camera all the way around, but at the same time, I get a lot of high quality video specs that I didn't have on the D5500. So this documentary thing, this vlog thing, is for me to kind of stretch my legs on the stuff that I've been learning, this stuff that I want to try to do, and it just gives me another outlet or my creative side. Sometimes I don't always have the, the proper settings, the proper mindset to go out and shoot pictures that I'm 
extremely happy with. And I feel like I've moved up enough in my photography side that I can't just shoot any old thing and be happy with the results. If they're not a step above average at least, I feel like I've not done myself justice and there's no point in me posting those as far as my content's concerned. It's just I feel like, especially on my Instagram page or anything like that, and my website specifically, um, if I post something on there, I want it to be a fair representation of what I consider to be my best work. It kind of limits the amount of content that I can put out um, because I have to end up with something that I'm truly happy with to be able to publish it. So the video side of things gives me another means of creativity, another outlet. It gives me something to occupy my mind. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it's gonna, I feel like it rounds me off better as a creative to know how to do both of these things well. Most every YouTuber that exists now is an amazing photographer and an amazing cinematographer. So I'm trying to push that threshold for myself. It's really just a point of pride more than anything at this point. So if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate it genuinely. Like I said, I'm, I'm not sure the schedule that these will be posted on. It might just be as content comes along, I'll you know, piece it together into something like this and put it out, which might be weekly, it might be two, three weeks. Just depends on how life goes. I touched on when we were on the bridge about we were trying to get a shot to submit for the uh, Peter McKinnon weekly assignment. Peter McKinnon weekly assignment. Um, this week's challenge was red. Um, I ended up not using any of the pictures from the bridge, but I did use these. And some of these I feel like turned out really well. I actually did them in my living room uh, on a spur of the moment, creative inspiration. I don't, I don't know why that popped in my head. I love Johnny Walker Red Label. Challenge was red, boom, they coincide. It was perfect, they just worked out that way. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, thank you if you've made it this far and give an explanation for what this entire concept is to me. Um, so if that's something you want to stick around and check out, then cheers to you. Uh, if not, this is just something to stretch my legs. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.